the next patient aged boys ko to 36 report ta dekhan ekta she came to us earlier with a diagnosis of crohn's disease c r o h n crohn's disease crohn's disease is a disease of the intestine where you have a lot of mucus stools where you have ulcers in the intestine as well so it's quite a pathology she came to us in 2016 we had start we had symptoms of lot of mucusy stool this is the first diagnosis of the crohn's disease and the colitis i'll pass it on lot of mucusy stools which had a sour smell she had been having having this mucusy stool since 2008 she came to us in 2016 <coughs> mucusy stool since 2008 with lot of sour smell from the stools she had a lot of acidity and bloating with lot of sour mouth you know like a reflux so there was a sour sense feeling in the mouth whenever she used to have the bloating she used to get a lot of headache as well whenever she used to have bloating she used to get a lot of headache as well very tired and exhausted due to recurrent attacks of the mucusy stool she has frequent mouth ulcers when she doesn't have the mucusy stools she is constipated she has a lot of sweating with the yellow stain with the sweat and sweat has also got sour smell she gets a lot of sweating with the yellow stain with the sweat and a lot of sour smell as well she has certain knee pains of and on a lot of muscle cramps in the hamstrings muscle cramps in the hamstrings when she has the attacks of acidity she can get really irritated otherwise she has described as a mild person she has a fear of darkness she has a fear of any quarrels whenever wherever there is any quarreling going on she likes to avoid those situations she likes sour salty and meat This is the follow up report which show doesn't show any signs of crohn's disease it's almost gone there's a little bit of hemorrhoids but the inflammation is gone now medicine come on you have seen so many cases you have to tell me this one we haven't seen a case of this medicine though probably we started in this case in 2016 with magnesia carb mac carb I don't know how, how much you have used macca but it's a fantastic medicine and I want you to try macca please You know the triad for macca which we use with good results is whenever you have a combination of acidity headache and constipation very common in any part of the world acidity headache and constipation you with me in a patient who likes sour food who likes meat you know if you remember the word sour for macca you remember everything they like sour the discharges are sour so they like sour their discharges are sour and when they have i think she mentioned uh, some discharge is sour stool probably is sour right mm -hmm. sour smelling with her stool was sour wasn't it yeah sour stool smelly. sour smell yeah 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 so stool has a sour smell and even the temper becomes sour so if you think they get irritated when they have the reflux sour mouth so yes so they have the sour mouth and even the temper is sour for macup you with me 
<coughs> Macab is what I have been taught again by my granddad as a female Nagswamika. They're the apexians. They like to reach the top. They always like to be successful. Magnesia carb. You're with me? They're the apexians. They always want to reach the top. They always want to be successful. But fortunately, they don't have the arrogance. They don't have the dictatorial nature of Nagswamika. On the other hand, Magnesia carb is a medicine who has a fear of aggression. They don't like, all Magnesiums, they don't like aggression. She mentioned, I think, fear, fear of quarrel. So they don't like any aggressive situations. They try and avoid that. So you have an Apexian Magcarp minus the arrogance of Nagswamika. You are with me? And you know, think of those women CEOs who are working day in, day out. Whenever they reach the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, they are just worn out, exhausted. So you put in the center of the triangle, it's they are worn out. She mentioned as well, weakness as well. You are with me? Working day in, day out. You know, working in the office. In the evening, they go out for dinner. They have lamb chops and they have sour drink, drinks acid, and lemonades. So they enjoy the sour, they enjoy the meat. But at the weekends, they are totally worn out, they are totally exhausted. You are with me? Co very commonly used medicine in today's world when everybody is running. I want you to have a look in Borike. There is an interesting aspect about Magcarb as well. And why Magcarb as well? Look at the appearance. All carbonates are obeys. Right? So that was also a co contributory factor for prescribing Magcarb. Obeys. Carbonates are obeys. Think of you have a deadline submission. You have to submit a project. Right? And for that project submission, before that you are very anxious, you are very tensed, you are getting diarrhea. Normally you will go for Argentan nitricum, you will go for gelsemium, you have a psychic diarrhea, an anxiety related diarrhea, you are with me. But there is one group of patients who will tell you that whenever I am stressed out, whenever I am anxious, I get constipated. Whenever there is a deadline, whenever there is a project submission, I get constipated. So whenever there is any period of prolonged anxiety, and as a consequence of that patient is developing constipation, try Magcarb. If you see there is a line in the introduction, always in the stool section, constipation after mental shock or a nervous strain. Are you there? If you see in Borike, either under stool or under the introduction, constipation after mental shock or nervous strain. Very common, especially as an acute, you can try Magcarb for the lot of stress and anxiety resulting in constipation. Not very often you'll find that, but if you do, try my cup. Sometimes they will tell you my bowel movement is just irregular, it's not happening. And that can also be a good indication for my cup. You got that everyone? Constipation after a mental nervous strain. Here the strain is the period of anxiety. There's a lesson on medicine called Homerus. You can try that, that also works well. H O M A R U S. Sometimes, if you are not finding good <coughs> results with constitutional homerus, works well. Where you have a combination of dyspepsia, headache, and more gastric related symptoms. If you have a look in homerus, the combination is dyspepsia, sore throat, and headache with lower abdominal symptoms. This is, you know, works well as an intercurrent in between a constitutional where you have tried other remedies. But there is no good result with that. You saw the reports, you see it's, we have been on MacCub since 2016. We have gone up to 10M of MacCub in a span of two and a half years. And you saw the reports, it's almost gone. There's no inflammatory changes, it's a little bit of hemorrhoids which is re remaining. There's no pain with that as well. Hello, Chanta, get there. She used to get occasional knee pain which you can get with Crohn's as well. Sometimes the joints are affected. It's a multi-systemic disorder. Sometimes the joints can be affected. How do you much? Joint pains are better as well with her as well. You with me? Wonderful prescription of MacCarb. Do please try it because it's a medicine for today's modern day world. Homerus works well with her DC. You got the combination for Homerus? Dyspepsia, sore throat and headache. Sometimes you do a reflux, they can get the sore throat. And we have tried Homerus as well in mucous colitis and Crohn's disease as well. 
with you know moderately effective results. 30C. 30C. You know, Homeras, if it has to work, it will work with 30C. If not, change it. So, it's a medicine which works with that potency itself, Homeras. I think it's prepared from lobster or something. Isn't it? Lobster? Live lobster. Fluid of lobster. 30. Maccab 10M was the last prescription was in June last year. So, almost 6-7 months we are waiting. And last prescription was 2016. Two hundred. We have gone up to 10M. Last prescription was 10M June. We have boosted since. It's very, very clear indications of MacCab in this case. Still improving. The, the report, I think, was in January or December they did it and that's better. So we are boosting still. I do, yes, that's a good question. If you see in Allen's in uh, MacCab, the modality of MacCab is like Kaylee. They're worse from rest, they're better from movement. So with that modality, MacCab works well with these symptoms as well. If you have a quick look in Allen's for MacCab, the question was, do you see MacCab as an osteoarthritis remedy? I said yes. It has a very similar modalities like uh, Kelly Cup because Kelly's are worse from rest, better from movement. If you are there in Allen's of MacCab, you see pains, neuralgic, insupportable during rest, must get up and walk. So especially at rest, their pains are worse. At night, their pains are worse. They get up and walk, that makes the pains better. So very close to Kelly Cub. I incorporate that, to, that modality when I prescribe a Mac Cub. But it has to be the other symptoms are has to be there. You know, I won't just prescribe on that modality for yeah. MACCAP. But would you consider MACCAP for chronic fatigue as well? Yes, yes. With the worn out, that's what I said. You know, weekdays they are working like like a dog. You know, like from morning to evening. And Saturday and Sunday, when it's time for rest, they are just exhausted. They can't get up from the bed. Worn out. And also, you'll find in MACCAP they can't sleep at weekends. Whenever it's time to rest, whenever it's time to relax. My cub can't sleep at weekends and they're really tired and they're really exhausted. That's why you have worn out in Mac If you think of Nagzomika, Nagzomika also can't sleep, but during the daytime he takes those cat naps which refreshes his energy back. But unfortunately, Mac Cub doesn't have that opportunity to take those cat naps. Therefore, he loses out on the energy. You know, Nagzomika and Mac are very close to each other, but Nagzomika doesn't suffer from debility as a consequence of his cat naps, which gives him the energy to walk through the day. But unfortunately, MacCub doesn't have the privilege or doesn't have the luck for a catnap. And so he gets more exhausted and worn out as the day progresses. There are some emotionals as well in the case. She had the fear of quarrels and she was mild like a magnesium constitution. That's why, because there are some emotionals, we went to 200 seat rather than 30 seat. We are boosting today.